everyone welcome back so today let's understand this problem maximum value of a triplet to uh, i have attached the problem link and the solution link in the description you can go and you can check it out so we before wasting any further time let's understand the problem statement quickly so you are given a zero indexed array nums I return the maximum value of all triplets of indices i j k is saying that triplets i j k such that triplets have a negative values it can have negative values and if it is a negative value then we need to return zero okay the value of triplet index is i j k uh, i minus j into k i minus j into k and i should be less than j j should be less than k if okay if if uh, triplets comes into your mind the first solution you will think of a brute force which will be an order of n cube solution you will iterate you will iterate three times and you will get a one triplet so if you see this if you see this solution if you understand this we are iterating i is equal to 0 j is equal to i plus 1 k is equal to j plus 1 and it can be long long because v of i minus v of j into length so 10 power 6 into 10 power 5 it can go so it can be a long long and we are returning answer equals to maximum of answer comma t or else if it is negative answer will be only zero because we are initializing it to zero this will be my brute force solution i think most of most of have done the first problem problem a now let's understand now lens are 10 power 5 lens are 10 power 5 you can't do in order of n cube i need to come up with order of n solution order of n or order of n into log n let's see let's say suppose we have j we have i we have j and we have k now let's think suppose we are at this point at this point so uh, i value what it can be now in the left side i can be maximum i should be maximum because v of i minus v of j we are doing v of i minus v of j if v of i is maximum then this value is maximum if, if at a point j my left element i should be maximum similarly we are multiplying with v of k okay towards the right side towards the right so we are multiplying with v of k so this should be maximum this should be maximum is yes, definitely it should be maximum because if we multiply with the maximum element then we will get the max answer max answer if there are elements less than k if you multiply definitely that will be less uh, the answer will be less so we will not consider that i think you have got it uh, so j you will find out all the elements towards the left side which is my maximum element and we will uh, in the same way we will go to the right side and we will check what will be my maximum element okay we, if we do that we will get in order of n square because we will go towards the left side and we will check the maximum element and we will go towards the right side and we will check the maximum element. okay order of n square is also still not valid let's think about order of n so you have elements i i plus 1 i plus 2 i plus 3 so on i plus n so at this point at this point and every point at every point can you calculate my maximum can you calculate maximum is yes, definitely if we keep some variable if we some keep some variable and if we iterate if we iterate from the left side and this variable is maximum of s comma uh, suppose this is t you can say index is iterating with t s comma t suppose you are at this position you will iterate till this suppose you are at this position it will only calculate until here so in this way at every instance at every instance we can calculate maximum can calculate maximum so we will left index with right index we will take we will iterate from the left side and from the right side also we need to iterate to get the maximum suppose you are at this element j now you want to maximum towards the right side at every point you need the maximum element so if i come from the right and i will 
I will gradually increase my maximum element. So definitely at this point, my maximum element we will we will get from the answer. So I think you understood the logic. You can code by yourself. If you unable to code, then you can come and you can watch the coding part. I will explain high level. Now I have taken answer as zero left and right, and s is equals to v of zero, and v l of i is equals to s. L of i is equals to s. It particular point at particular point we should consider only from 0 to i minus 1 that's why i is equals to 1 l of i is equals to s we are doing and we are making s is equals to max and in the similar way we will iterating from the right side and we will iterate from the n minus 2 because at the last index uh, this can't be triplet because last index can't be j because in uh, in the right side we can't find k now we will iterate and we will calculate the maximum and i is equals to i less than n minus 1 because the triplet can be found from if it is 0 and this is n minus 1 triplet can be only in between my 0 and n minus 1 this is my triplet l of i minus u of i into r of i and we will get the answer so i think you understood it what will be the, my time complexity it will be my order of n space order of n if you understand this solution please do like and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section i will be there to help you out thank you thank you for watching